you know what guys? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I think today might be the day where we finally hit 500. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Irish Emerald here and welcome to our week A battle in FIFA where we are going up get up against Archer, coach of the Liue Liu A Liue Liu A Liue Harbour Glaze Lilligans. I'm hoping I got that right. Accents, strange words, difficult, right? Difficult, you know. My my accent just forces me to just sing words and string words together. Half the time I don't pronounce my words. You guys know this, like, you know, but you just, you know by the general tone of what I've said, you pick up most of it, like, you know what I mean? But yeah, so hopefully I got that right. I apologize, Archer, if you did not, or if I did not. But yeah, we're up against him. He's doing very, very well this season. He's in the playoffs. If I remember correctly, he's five and two. Not quite too sure now off the top of my head, you guys. It's, uh... It's been a wild week here. I had a good few battles this week trying to get them all done. But I know this this guy is he's up in the near playoffs. He's very secure in the playoffs too. He's not in the dog fight trying to get there. He's um one of the top uh, top or upper end teams this season. So it's gonna be very difficult to try and get the win here. And as you guys know, we do essentially need to win out this season if we want to make playoffs um, with our three and four record. Getting the win this week would mean that we actually get to four and four, which for the first time this season we'll be at. 500. I know for some maybe the European viewers they don't know what 500 means. It basically just means a neutral record where it's like four wins, four losses, you know, that kind of thing. And after that we can send we can probably look towards the rest of the season can see if we can get a winning record. So, you know, look, we we'll take one game at a time. It's all we can do here at the moment. Archer's team as you can see right here for me now consists of Mew, Mega Deancey, Garchomp, Age Slash, Weavile, Blastoise, T Serena, Muck, Raboot and Shelmet. Now you look at his team and you probably ask yourself, what is this? What, what is what's going on here? Where's the bulk? And look, Archer just went, you know, heavy money buying all the offense and said, look, if I'm going to live by the sword, I'm going to die by the sword. And said, and just basically told everybody, I ain't allowing anybody to come in and just hit me hard and beat me. And his offense is tricky. I'm not gonna lie, it's so difficult to deal with his offense. He's got threats all over. And like, and I, I'm a relatively offensive coach. I like running more offense, but he's run a lot of offense, and it's a little. It can be quite overpowering. And he's got Blastoise and T Screen there to help him with the hazard removal as well, which is difficult. And Mega Dancy to give him that control. So very, very difficult to deal here to deal with, I should say. The number one threat, well, the, the couple of big threats here. I do want to highlight, of course. Like, look, you, you just need to look at like his first five ones there, and you know they're all very difficult. But two in particular is Weavile and Garchomp. Either of those are banded, they're, they're problematic, right? They're going to be very, very difficult to deal with. Anything else after that, look, it's, it, they're troublesome, but it's really having to try and get through or play around the garage up in the Weavile. Those two mons are just so problematic for us. But yeah, look, despite the problems he's able to give us, I'm going to break down what we're, we have really quick and show you guys what we're bringing. So first we have Miyamoto, the Yushifu, rocking out with the Choice Band. Wicked Blow, Close Combat, U-Turn, Ice Punch is the move set. With no speed to be able to outspeed. Oh, it's it's one of it's one of his mods. I think it's the it's the Blastoise or T Serena. It's it's something I can't remember, guys. <laughs> For truth be told, I can't remember. There's one mod that, that we have there that we're outspeeding. We're rocking out this set. This set is able to just break through um every single mod on uh, Archer's team. Now he's able to revenge kill us very very easily. I'm not going to like snuff that out. I'm not going to deny it. He's able to revenge kill us with the Weavile. He's able to revenge kill us with the Garchomp. So it's like, and with the with the uh, Mega Deancey and potential with an offensive view, it's scary. I know, but there's like, like it's either that or we're looking at may maybe Mammal Swine. And the problem is, is that if we bring Mammal Swine, we've no answer for defensive Mew. So it's you got to pick our poison here. And honestly, I don't want to lose to a defensive Mew when I view Shifu. I rather not have to deal with that. And I know some people are thinking, well, defensive Mew might not be a brain, but as we've seen. Since my comeback, I have ignored a certain bring, and it was it came and then it slaughtered me. So because of that, I'm just saying no. I'm bringing Yushifu, and we'll figure it out from there. We will be able to get Yushifu in a couple of times, and we will be able to revenge kill. For instance, when we know when we know the uh, we've got his choice, we know then right, he's choiced into something. We can we'll be able to bring Yushifu and smack uh, smack something else, 
and we'll be able to kind of pivot around from there. So that's what we're kind of looking for with our Yushifu. After that, we're rocking our Mega Agron, and Mega Agron is purely here to deal with Weavile. It's, that is his sole job, is to deal with Weavile. I am not wanting to deal with anything else other than Weavile. And once we get rid of Weavile, then Agron can start pivoting into doing another role for us in this game, but until I know what the Weavile is, if it's SD or banned, if it's just playing life forward with four attacks, I do not know. But until I know what that Weavile is, I gotta keep Mega Agron alive, and I gotta keep it relatively healthy. Luckily for us, I don't anticipate him having Weavile in the back for the whole game because Weavile does do a good number to us. So I anticipate us being able to see Weavile at some point and then being able to deal with it. So that's the kind of aim here, uh, especially early mid-game. So it's just a matter of just trying to deal with it after that. Heavy Slam's there for the Weavile and the, and the Mega Deancy. Rocks, we, if we can get into the situation, set them up. Ice Punch for the Garchomp and then EQs for the Age of Slash. And also for a potential pre uh, prediction into Garchomp. If when we don't want to take that rough skin damage, we're just going to be able to read it as the game goes along. Speaking of Garchomp, I'm rocking out with uh, Rainbow Arm Melodic with Flame Orb, Flip Turn, Ice Beam, Dragon Tail and Recover is the moveset. Uh, this is our only main way of being able to deal with either, a SD, uh, either an SD Garchomp or a... Words. <laughs> or a uh, Choice Band of Garchomp. So we're rocking out with the Flame Orb, Full Fist Death, not in Fancy. Flip Turn for Momentum, Ice Beam to deal with the Garchomp. Dragon Tail to be able to get rid of any setup because if Mew is a setup variant, that's a little bit of a nuisance and I don't want to be dealing with that because Mew can potentially, you know, set up in front of Milotic. You know, it's we have to really sort out what that Mew set is very early because it can do everything. And then recover as well. So that's basically the Milotic set, not crazy. Next up we have Rosie our Roserade with Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Synthesis and Shadow Ball, Full Fizz Death, rocking out with a lot of bulk here. And this is our going this is going to be our Mega DNC answer here because Mega Deancey is able to hit uh, several, in several different ways on the physical and the special side and I want to be able to deal with that. Now Mega Deancey could be you know could carry Psychic but the fact of the reality is here I don't really have too many answers that want to come in on a Mega Deancey hit. Uh, if he's some setup variant um, you know we can be we should be able to deal with that with Rosary because Rosary is able to hit quite hard and you know it also will force uh, Mega Deancey uh, not to be able to come in too freely on Rose Raid. So this is going to be our primary Rose Raid answer. It's not the best, don't get me wrong, but it's functional and I'm happy enough with that. And it also puts pressure on Blastoise and T-Serena. So Rose Raid is able to do quite a little bit here. I'm hopeful I'm hopeful that it's not going to be too much. Next up we're bringing Gale Force Star Talent Flame with Flare Bits, U-Turn Roost and Tailwind. Heavy Duty Boots so we don't have to do, uh, we don't take that Rocks damage because Rocks is... Easy to set up on with Archer's team. Well, he's able to set up easy with us. He's got Mew and Garchomp that could do that. Uh, and it's just a matter of, you know, making sure that Talonflame can come in and out here because it's our answer for Age Slash. If we can get Talonflame in to deal with Age Slash, this is beautiful. And the longer we can keep Talonflame around and healthy, the better because it's also able to beat the Weavile. So those are our main answers there. But Talonflame's, pri Talonflame's primary role is to deal with the Age of Slash. Don't know what kind of talent uh, age slash set it could be. If it's specs, if it's SD, if it's the defensive pivot. Hard to tell what it's going to be. Um, but we just got to have one answer to do with it. And that is going to be this bad boy right here. I'm not rocking out with the... I'm not rocking out with the gosh darn defog here. Because if we're defog, I just think that he'd be able to get into Mega Deancey and Ma um, Magic Bounce and that would stop the Defog from removing hazards on our side of the field. I just think that's definitely a very likely play here. Uh, I think it's going to be the case there where if he does get rocks up, they're there to stay, right? Like, we just got to admit that that's going to be a problem. And if we were able to get rocks on his side of the field, that's going to be great because it'll mean that they'll be up to, well, more than likely they'll be up there to stay on his side of the field. You know, I know he gets T-Swing and Blastoise to do the Rapid Spin, Force them to wrap a spin on a turn for us would be great, but I just can't guarantee that we're going to get away with that. Uh, I just think we'll, we're just not going to be able to get into a situation where we are going to be able to remove rocks with Mega Deancey knocking around. That's just the unfortunate side of it. So we're rocking out with Tailwind this then because I think Tailwind will give us that extra little bit of support for Yoshifu to come in and just wreak havoc because all of a sudden he's got it, like, you know, especially mid game when we got chip on everything, Yoshifu comes in. Four turns, maybe, and just, you know, causes havoc. So that'd be nice. And last but not least, I'm rocking out with Choice Scarf Latios. Again, I need something to deal with Garchomp um, when it gets to plus one speed with Scale Shot. Pretty similar to last week, you know, and that's essentially it. Shadow Ball, Drake, Meteor, Side Shock with Baton Pass, because Baton Pass will, will be able to force a switch out here. I want to get the Baton Pass off so I can pivot. Shadow Ball for the Age of Slash, Draco, 
you know, for the Garchomp, and then rocking out a Psy Shock for the Mega Deancey. You could argue I could run like choice, yeah, like Energy Ball or something like that, but honestly, I just think you know it's not really worth it because it allow other mods to kind of come in here and do work. You know, so I just figured we got we got to go Shadow Ball here because uh, it just hits Age Slash, and I can see Age Slash being one of the first answers into Latios when it comes in. So I want to be able to cover that first, and then. You know, if we see other matches we don't like, we just go for Baton Pass. I think that's the best play. But yeah, with that all being said, guys, let's just go on a bit to the battle. All right, guys, here we are in the battle. Look, I'm, I'm sorry for the crazy sprites. It, we're playing on, on April 1st, and Shoto decided, look, April Fools, screw you guys, here are your sprites. So, I apologize for that. <laughs> I'll try and make the most of it um, and see how we get along. He's brought the Shell Met, new Shifu Answer, Mega Deonsi, Garchomp, Weavile, New, and Blastoise. So that's why he's after rocking out with. Weavile, Garchomp, major issues. Mega Dancy, major issue. Mew, we can suss that out and see what we can go along with. No, uh, Age Stash is pretty nice for us. We should be able to kind of do nice work here then for the whole game, especially when Mega Dancy is gone because we could be able to Draco with Latios, which is pretty, pretty slick. I won't lie, these sprites. Oh, why showed up? Why? But look, April, April 1st, I just, when we're battling, I just got to deal with it. I think it would be nice if we leveled our Mega Aggron because I need to get the Mega Evolution off to deal with Weavile, uh, have a switch in for Weavile. So Mega Aggron is my lead in every time. And that's what it's going to be. Um, this is his Weavile. Like, how? All right, we'll just we'll, we'll ignore it. Uh, I don't think he stays in here, right? So I'm just going to Mega Evolve and I do get my rocks up here. So I am just going to Mega Evolve and Step Rock. He is just going to SD. Cool, so the Weavile is SD. That's fine. Uh, I'm heavy slamming. He's not, you're hardly going to give me that, are you? Sashed, yeah, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Um, you are going to go for low kick again, so I'm going to go into Talon Flame and preserve this thing a little bit. There's the low kick. Can I get a burn? No, I do not. That's okay, though. Um, I do get U-turn for free here, so I am going to just click the U-turn. So the Weavile is SD Sash. It's after doing work on the Agron, but the Weavile is gone. That's fine, and Talon Flame's done a bit of work. I'm just going to go into my Monotic and just get our Flame Orb up. Beautiful. And see what he wants to do here. We got Genrock's up now. It's pretty nice for us. In comes the Blastoise. Blastoise will probably want to just spin here, which is fine, which is perfectly fine, which is perfectly fine. I am going to flip, uh, flip turn on this thing and go out into my Roserade. Because I don't, if he's, go, he's going to spin or he's going to Shell Smash. So we're going to do that. He does go for the spin. That's cool by me. Um, I think we're relatively free to go for a Giga Drain here. So I am going to do just that. If the Blastoise wants to do anything too crazy. In comes the Mew. You get a little bit of damage there on the Mew. I'm going to just double check what we see there. Because Mew, I notice is... Bear with me now. Uh, Mew, as I saw there, um, took... Took 30%, right? So I just want to suss out what is this Mew set right off the bat here, right? Giga, uh, Giga Drain. So he's not quite fully invested in. Yeah, he's not. He's not HP invested, so he could be offensive. He could very well be offensive Mew here, right? So that is a problem. With that being said, with that being said, because he's offensive Mew. I think we could probably go out into Milotic and maybe Tailwind this thing. Or not, not Tailwind, Dragon Tail this thing. I think th uh, that's our reliable answer. If the Garchomp is Bandit or Scarf, that's fine. Uh, well, that's not that's fine, but like we could, we'll have to just deal with it. Goes to the side shock, we eat that up. We eat that up. That's okay. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Um, I am going to click Flip Turn again here. I want to see as he's nasty. Okay, he's nasty plot. He's nasty plot. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, he's nasty pop Mew. That's all right. So Mew, it's just a matter of figuring out what this thing wants to do here, you guys. If he's nasty plot up against my Latios, can I just Draco Meteor this thing? I can. That is going to force into the Mega Deancey, but we should be okay, I think. Um, I I'm just going to click Draco here. I'm not going to be thinking too much. If he brings in the Mega Deancey, he brings it in. We could go Baton Pass. Here's the thing. If we go Baton Pass. If we go up with Tom Pass, then he's going to go for another move, right? He's going to, um, and something is taking a big hit, and I don't really want that. With, we see, the thing is, the Talon Flame can do work against the Shell Mid here, which is nice. We do have Rose Raid up at max, so I think we can just go for the Draco. If you sack this thing, that's insane to me. 
All right, so you got your spadef. You got a lot of spadef there, right? You have to have a lot, of, lot of spadef there for this. Last toys. Uh, and your bulky rapid spin, Draco Meteor. Uh, he's probably got 252 in his spadef, right? To be able to eat that, eat, be able to eat that hit. Because how much did he? Yeah, he did around 38%. So he's like, he has to be. Um, wow, okay. He has to be very, very bulky. He has to be, or maybe he's a soft fest even. Mm, not quite a soft, maybe he's a soft fest, but not with all that investment, maybe. I think that might be, yeah, that looks like where he might be. I think he's a soft fest without spadef investment. That's okay. Um, I think we can again go into, I, I like go into our Roserade here. Actually, no, Melodic, because he might predict the Roserade and go for Ice Beam. Goes to fifth turn. Okay, 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 okay. So he's rapid spin, fifth turn. In comes the Shelmet. In comes the Shelmet. Um, I don't know what this thing wants to do to me, so uh, I am going to click Recover here and see what does this thing want to do. He sets up one layer of spikes. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go into my Talon Flame straight off the bat here. Spikes are annoying, but it, look, it is what it is. He goes for the Tom Pass. In comes this Deonce. Um, we are clicking new turn and pivoting around here. So we gotta watch out, the spikes are definitely a nuisance here guys. Definitely, definitely a nuisance, right? And he could want to be setting up rocks at this point. So that's also a bit of a problem. Also a bit of a problem. But we just have no real way of being able to carry Defog here because this Mega Dance, you could just Mega Evolve and just be an absolute problem. Uh, right, I think we just go back down to our rose right here. Wouldn't I be, wouldn't be shocked if we saw rocks. There's the Diamond Storm, that's okay. Uh, free Giga Drain here, I believe. Uh, there's also the fact he might want to go straight out into Shelmet. You know, so I'm a little bit hesitant. Uh, I am just going to go for the Giga Drain though. Or do I? Or do I? I could go Shadow Ball as like a nice middle ground play here. Or Synthesis. Um, if he goes out into the Shelmet, if he goes out into that Shelmet, it's like it's, an, it's a problem because he, he will get his spikes up like every single time. Uh, I do think... We go, yeah, do you know what, we go for the Giga Drain. As he does go, he does Mega Evolve, does go for the Substitute, that's fine. Pay no attention to what's behind that side, that's pretty slick, I have to say that. Uh, we get, we get a nice bit of damage off there. Um, I'm gonna go for the, I think he might want to go out into Shelmet next. I think he might want to go out into Shelmet, yeah, next. Roserade, our Roserade set up against the Yancey. Uh, if he's like an offensive set here. I think we could definitely afford to go for the Sludge Bomb here. Uh, or the sh sorry, the Shadow Ball. The Shadow Ball should be able to break his sub, so I'm going to go for another Shadow Ball. In comes the Mute, that's fine. Uh, that's, we wanted to go for that middle ground play, which is beautiful. Yeah, is, that is absolutely fantastic. Um, we're going to go out into... Monotic here. We're going to go back out into Monotic. Spikes are annoying, we eat that up, thankfully. Uh, I am going to Dragon Tail here. As he's going to go for the side shock, I'm just going to click Dragon Tail, and in comes this Blastoise. That's fine. I'm going to click for cover on this thing because I know I outspeed it. As he goes for a flip turn, One, probably wants to go out with the Shelmet. That's it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we are going to. Uh, I'm not going to Dragon Tail. Here. I'm just going to flip turn. Just get a little bit of chip on this thing. As another baton pass. All right, so he didn't go for the second layer spikes. I was certain he would. Now, if he has the Scarf Champ, he might want to go into it here. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. I, I'm just clicking new turn around here on this thing again. Uh, he might want to click flip turn. If he does, I don't want to... See, I do not want to go into your Shifu just yet. I want to keep your Shifu in the back. Uh, I wouldn't mind going out into Agron here. We don't need Agron as much, so I'm going to go into my Agron. As we eat up that flip turn nicely, because I want to see why he goes out into. If he goes out into this Deancey, like, okay, fair enough. Like, because I'm just going to take heavy slam on that because he's sub. Like, so I don't, I don't want to risk that. If he goes out into Mew, going to hit that. If he goes out into Garchomp, I'm clicking Ice Punch. Like, I'm just going to click a move here, Agron. I'm no problem letting this thing go down at this point in the match. I don't think, because I, I just do not want to um, let him get set up. In comes the Sharknado. I am going to click Ice Punch. I don't want this thing going SD, scale shot, that kind of shenanigans. I just want to click Ice Punch, get rid of this thing, and worry about it afterwards. I'm like, we like, Mega Agron has always done his work. He is going to pull a double. We're going to knock out the Mew. That's beautiful. In comes the Mega Deancey. I'm not thinking twice again. I'm just going to click Heavy Slam, try and get this thing off the field. You know, and that's basically it. 
Uh, don't know. I've still no idea what this guy shop is. He does go for the EP there. It is what it is. Um, we are going to go back down to our Roserade here. And I am going to go for a... I think he goes back. I think he doubles into Shelmet here. I think he doubles into Shelmet. Okay, so I would lo wouldn't mind, uh, and I knew I need to keep my Nautic healthy for this guard champ. Uh, I wouldn't mind just clicking Shadow Ball here, and predicting that. Uh, Shadowmet is like nasty. It's just nasty, nasty bulk. Um, I think he might be two fifty two, two fifty two Evolite because it's just it's just the Evolite gives us so much more. Um, I'm gonna say he's bold. Uh, for just for now, just for now, and let's just say he's got the Evolite. Um, like Sludge Bomb does work on it, so I think we are clicking Sludge Bomb on it. As in comes this glass twice. Okay. Now I know I outspeed this thing, so I'm just going to click Giga Drain here. I know I outspeed that glass twice. That's fine, glass twice is gone. Um, in comes this guard chomp. I am clicking into my melodic immediately. Immediately. We got Mega Deancy down to like 68%, so that's not too bad. Just a matter of seeing what we can do. He is SD, yeah. He is SD, he is SD. Okay, uh, slightly problematic, but not the end of the world. Uh, I am just gonna click Ice Beam here. If he's Yachi Berry, then look, not the end, it's not the end of the world. We should be able to get within range of Ladio. Like, it would be within range of our uh, Ladio uh, going for Side Shock rather than Psychic. Oh, sorry, Draco, which is nice. He misses the scale shot, that sucks, but he is trying to, oh, and the freeze. I feel for him, I feel for him. That absolutely sucked. That absolutely sucks. Um, I think we just go for the, I think I just go for the ice beam again here. As uh, this thing is sacked, that's fine. Guy Chomp is gone. That's fine, that's fine. In comes the Shelmet. Uh, I am clicking. I am clicking. Recover here, just to just keep this thing healthy for the Deancey. He sets up a no layer of spikes. And I am clicking. I think we click flip turn here. Yeah, that's what we go for. Uh, I think he goes for the baton pass, right? So I'm going to go into my Roserade. Even though we are going to take a little bit from, as he, okay, he stayed in there, that's fine. I just want to get damage off on this thing, so I am clicking such bomb. I think regardless, of Fine, <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I'm, regardless, I'm staying here. I'm just clicking sludge bomb on you. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, go on to your Deancey. Because I can I can hit this thing still pretty hard. You, you can go for the Diamond Storm. I'm just clicking sludge bomb on you, just like that. Uh, Diamond Storm did 52%. Like So it's a roll here because it's not. It does get the damage, but we are going to go down to the poison there. And Talonflame should be able to come in with the Flare Blitz. And pick up the win. Pick up the win. The spikes were very scary, you guys, but like, you know, we had no real way of dealing with it. I thought we actually dealt with his offense pretty nicely, to be honest. I thought we did pretty well. I thought we did very, very well. That was probably one of our better games. I'll take it, though. I take it. We just saw, we just dealt with the threats as they came in, and we dealt with them very, very nicely. Yushifu didn't have to do much. Latios didn't have to do much, honestly. Mega Agron and Rose Raid and Milotic. And like, honestly, the four months. That would like were drafted after Yushifu and Ledos did work for us this week and they were fantastic. So really big fan of that. Um, great win for us. Delighted. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Sorry for the goofy uh, sprites, you guys. I'm sure some of you guys absolutely loved it, but we were doing this on April 1st, so or we had no real other way of doing it. Uh, well, it was the best time for us to do it, I should say. So yeah. Um, but GG to Archer, definitely go check out his profile, uh, his drafting profile down below if you want to go check out, see how what, what he's doing, how he stands in not just FIFA, but and also in drafting world. In the Drafting World Cup qualifications, definitely go check that out if you're and all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, guys, that's us back at four, uh, four and four. We're back at five hundred finally. So this is that's really good. I'm delighted with that. Honestly, that that uh, I've been wanting that for so long. So we're finally back at four and four. Um, and it's just a matter of you know taking one game at a time. We've got two games left in the FIFA regular season, and we'll just see how uh, it works out. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there today, folks. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.